Good morning everybody, this is a Saturday morning. Obviously you guys have seen uh, the video from uh, from Landudno. We are on a weekend camp this this week. So um, yeah, so strap yourself in. Dave Outdoors is gonna be here, Brendan of course, and also Steve's Monumental Adventures. She starts first time as always. <laughs> This, ladies and gentlemen, this is the spot for tonight. Look at that view over there. Oh, it's beautiful. I will be getting the drone up at some point, um, but honestly, this is beautiful. Look at all this. Nothing really for me to do yet. I'm waiting for, um, well, I'm waiting for Dave Outdoors. I've waited, I'm waiting for Steve's Monumental Adventures. Steve's actually come here early. Um, and now we're wait and also we're waiting for uh, Brendan Explores. So um, as per usual, so um, we were supposed to meet here at four. Um, the time, as you can see, is literally, if you can not see that, it's 25 past four. So yeah, I was a little bit late out, but I still got here. <laughs> Hopefully we won't get the dreaded knock in the night and hopefully we won't get um, any boy racers coming along this road, which I'm hoping isn't the case. Stealth camping for the first time, well, since the last video. Um, the last one you saw was in Landudno on top of the Great Orm. I mean, um, if you haven't gone and watched that video yet, um, I'll include a little pop up for you guys to watch it. Honestly, best camp I have ever done. So, um, but. Let's not forget, there's probably going to be more. I've got a friend! I have a friend! I've, I've, I've been waiting here, apart from Steve, who came here very, made, very, very late after, but you know. Fan friend! All right, Fan friend! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting on Brendan now, but Steve's already here, but he's just popped to the cemetery, which is literally just down the road. But yeah, as per usual, on this channel and on every other channels, we are waiting for Brendan and it again. <laughs> so again, yeah, again, Brendan, <laughs> we wait for you again. <laughs> anyway, we're going to enjoy the views, have a bit of a chin wag, and I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> I'll do you. I'll do you. Should we do this? Should we do this? One, two, three. What time do you call this? <laughs> How are you, bud? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, You're yeah. leaving me hanging. <laughs> sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Hey, you need to watch yourself as well. Why? I'm cooking your dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to <laughs> The digital eagle has been up and uh, yeah honestly some beautiful shots that we've had some of the shots as well are going to go on instagram it's if you guys want to go follow me on instagram follow exploring with matty i'd love to have had matty's adventures unfortunately somebody has already taken it um, so yeah, feel free to put Exploring with Matty on Instagram, follow me for um, some great content, some behind the scenes and also some nice photographs as well which have been featured on quite some big accounts lately. So yeah, feel free to follow me for more. One van, two vans, three, three vans. I'm starting to feel like the odd one out here, you know, because I've only got that. But, oh well, maybe next year 
or perhaps maybe Christmas Santa might 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 give me a camper van. Who knows? Because after all, I think you know it's kind of getting to that point, really, isn't it? Where you know the Astra is kind of going to see like less and less as the winter months go on and I would really love to get some car camping or at least some some adventures out in the winter but I know as well as you guys know from previous well from last year shall we say that there was no real car camping going on in the winter months which is such a shame really because you know one of the best times to be out and about camping is in the winter but We'll see, um, at the end of the day, I'm hoping that maybe one day I might get a van and then join these guys as well, but who knows, but yeah. So we are on Wenlock Edge. Now, a lot of people are probably suspecting that's a bit weird, but this is a different part of the Wenlock Edge. This is somewhere called Raymond Bank, and it is part of the Wenlock Edge, but you have to go a little bit further along to understand where it is. But yeah, we're gonna hopefully get some drones up and go along this beautiful wood, this beautiful footpath. But yeah, absolutely amazing. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Brown Clee Hill. I remember doing Brown Clee Hill not so long ago, in fact, a lot of people will remember that. I was absolutely sore by the end of it, but that is the highest summit in Shropshire. I forgot to put that on the video. Good God, ladies and gentlemen, it's looking tired in here, isn't it? I mean, to be fair, I mean, the, sit, the, the, the little things are coming down and I appreciate that. But the one thing that I noticed as well is, is that there's some hot, there is going to be some air coming into the car thanks to Brendan's help by putting in the, um, the new wind deflectors. This is also new as well. Um, the last one broke when we were at Land Odno in the previous week's video. Um, and now, you know, this is a proper, proper setup now, and it's really thick. What I will do for anybody that does a bit of car camping or van life in, and they want something that's like, uh, almost, I mean, honestly, you could shine a light through it. It's almost like cashmere. It's absolutely gorgeous, actually. It's beautiful fabric, nice and soft, but it's actually, um, you, you can't see through it at all. What I will do is, is I'll put a link in the description for you guys. So the, the so a lot of people are probably thinking, is it time for me to go to bed? Well, you'd be right. But tonight, I'm actually going to watch a bit of Only Fools and Horses. So I shall see you guys in the morning. Hopefully, the weather will hopefully change tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll have the drones up. And um, yeah, so yeah, I shall see you bright and early in the morning. Government, they're going to have to ban the import of foreign cars, aren't they? Rodney, Britain's future lies fairly and squarely in the second hand car. Good morning, everybody. It is just nearly six o'clock. Um, it's not as bad condensation wise. I feel as though that the uh, wind deflectors have done the job. Um, I actually didn't expect it to be quite as, um, as you know, as, um, less condensation-y. <laughs> I didn't know if that was a phrase or not, but I'm going to use it anyway. Um, but yeah, honestly, um, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, if I pull, as always, if I pull down the thing, obviously I've got Steve's van. Um, but yeah, look, 
hardly any condensation which is absolutely game changing i only put it down only a, like a finger full because in that way air yeah, can come in and out unfortunately we had a little bit of heavy rain but then it kind of almost subsided around around um roughly around one o'clock i think it's kind of finished and um yeah so we're gonna get the drone out and uh, i'm gonna show you a little bit more hopefully We've unfortunately we have missed the sunrise this morning, but I think, quite frankly, I don't think you're going to see anything anyway. But I think we have got a fair bit of mist, so I don't know whether or not we could probably get the drone up and probably show you a little bit more. But we'll try. One thing that uh, somebody did ask me um, was is that how do you get changed in your car? Because obviously it's like getting changed in a in a sardine can pretty much. Um, and actually, it's actually quite a well-dignifying way, actually. And it was a way that I actually learned from camping when I was about maybe six or eight years old. And basically, what I do is, is that I basically get changed in the sleeping bag. And it's actually really, really good. Um, I obviously won't include it <laughs> in this video. Um, but yeah, you know, all you do is you just end up taking your trousers off in the sleeping bag and um and yeah and all you do is just, just get changed in your sleeping bag and it's actually really good as long as you keep the with the, these little curtains up you know you kind of have a little bit of privacy the one thing i'm also going to do in some point in one video is i'm going to change this bit and i'm going to have some wind um, shields or curtains there because obviously people can look in but also it's also a bit of security for me because then that way i can see who's behind the car or who's around and all that sort of thing one thing i will say is, is that this is got starting to look a little bit tired and this is um that one's actually holding up a little bit just apart from this bit where it hasn't really connected we did have a few cars come down in the night and um you know, there were cars passing by. Now, as much as Steve is there, and he probably got a bear of most of the high beams and brunt, um, sometimes the light did kind of shine over the top. But this big, thick material here is absolutely brilliant. So, um, yeah, I'm dead chuffed. So, um, yeah, I, what I'll do is I'll leave that item in the, new, in, in the new item in the description for you guys if you do want one. Perhaps maybe you don't do car camping. Perhaps maybe you've got, you know, perhaps maybe you've got kids that, you know, need a rest or whatever. And that's their only. So what I'll do is I'll leave a description in there for. But the first time ever, I'm happy to report. I heard no diesel heaters last night. I speak too soon because I think Brendan might actually start his and I'm literally right next door. Steve's right next door to me. He didn't even have his on again last night. You know, Steve's a proper trooper. Um, but yeah, you know, Dave is literally, there's Gord, uh, the Shropshire lad. And then Dave is literally right next door to him. So yeah, um, I'm going to get myself changed and sorted. Is the digital eagle has returned and uh, yeah she is going to have a nice little bit of a charge because uh, obviously i've dived down, down to two batteries now um well i'm actually down to one battery and it's in there um but yeah no not much to see today it's not exactly like it was the great orm and you saw that amazing sunset or it wasn't um like the wenlock edge even yesterday where you had a little bit more to see today is just really 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 cloudy and foggy and murky and I think, you know, with the sun that we had yesterday and the really, really bad rain that we had, obviously that creates a, a bit of a fog. So, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some breakfast. Uh, I'm going to probably sign out for today. If you guys have enjoyed this video, feel free to smash a like and also subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, peace out, everybody.